the main question of our conversation is that what could we learn from games? There is this book of about gaming, like reality is broken. Yeah. Well, it really yeah. struck me like, okay, people spend time and money willingly, voluntarily, and they deliver a lot of work and they uh, solve very complicated tasks and they learn a lot while they play games. And if you ask somehow similar tasks from them in school, it's a kind of broken, it's not working that well regarding engagement. Yeah. So if you read the book, I, you, know, you know the answer, no? the, the point is exactly what you said, it's voluntary engagement. And school is not about voluntary engagement. Instead, play, it is all <laughs> about voluntary engagement. You, know? you cannot anyway force someone to play. They, they can pretend they are playing, but it's not that you can really force anybody to play. But you really can force anybody to be a school. This not means that they will learn. In fact, they are not. But they are there and they pretend uh, very well. I mean, it's easier, way easier to pretend to stay in a school than to pretend to be in a game. I mean, you cannot <laughs> pretend to be in a game. If you play football and you stay like this, <laughs> <laughs> it, it's not only, only that your team will lose. That your mates will come and kick you in the ass because you made them lose. No? Yeah, and also you ruin the game. I mean, like you're... Exactly. Almost yeah. out of the game. What are your thoughts on gamification? Well, mixed feeling, I would say. You know, gamification is super interesting as a way to motivate people. So it's, also, it's a way of uh, learning what games do to engage people and use it for a purpose where they are not playing, but... Exactly. Let's, let's try to define it a little bit. You know, it's using some mechanics from, from games, uh, especially the mechanics of action and reward. So if I do something good, you give me a positive reinforcement or a kind of reward. If I'm not doing good, you tell me this is not the way, please get back. And this mechanism, which by the way, it's one of the most powerful mechanisms in video games, where the feedback system is probably the most effective feedback system ever. Because if you win, you understand immediately that you are winning like so, so you get instant feedback instant exact instant feedback instant feedback and uh, like and if you if you lose as well you get instant feedback, no? feedback and it's a way of getting feedback which is also able to put it in a lighter way i mean you lose your your play your game your, your character is dead but it's dead in a super spectacular way you know it's it's an epic fail it's a fail but it's still epic Everything explodes and there is an incredible distraction and you, you, you laugh and, and you let go of the fact that you, you lost. It's a bit of theater-like yes. playing it out. And also uh, what I hear from us now talking about this, that for sure we could learn this need for feedback that could be useful. We get, games do that. And also the other thing is that the permission to fail. Like, okay, yeah, you can yes. start again. And people fail a lot in games. That's how you learn. But, but we have this say in Italy saying, you do a mistake and you learn. But, but that's not how it works in reality. No? In reality, in school, in meaning in everyday reality of the average kid, when you make a mistake, you get a bad mark. Not that you learn. Mm -hmm. Instead, in game, while playing, you, you, you make a mistake and you learn. And next time you play, you try to not to make the same mistake and to uh, get a step forward. So about gamification, what I say is, is that the idea is a very interesting idea of using these kind of mechanics to help people be more engaged and have more motivation to do any task. But the problem is any task, any task, including a lot of tasks that probably is not so good to push on people. I mean, if you look carefully, gambling uses some of the same mechanics huh? and is forcing you or in a way pushing you to do something that is really not healthy to you. And, and then there are these, you know, utopian scenarios popping up from China lately about the social credit system based on gamification. Mm -hmm. It's an episode of the first series of, uh, of the Black Mirror. Black Mirror, yeah. Exactly. What you talk about is like uh, taking out conscious choice and our ability to 
make our choice to play a game or not and what to do and what not is a crucial one. And if we use gamification to push people or hook them or engage them in whatever they want or don't want is something that might have some ethical uh, question marks. Oh, I definitely think so. I mean, to stay on the on the war topic that we were exploring before, there is a series of books that I love. They made a m movie out of the first one, uh, which is the Ender Game saga. And the, the movie out of the first one is exactly called the Ender Game, in which there are these kids which are trained in the military academy to become the best generals their world which is fighting an endless war with some alien race and they're trained exactly using this super real life looking video games in which they have to fight battles with starships and bombing planets and then spoiler alert and in the end what you learn together with the main character is that they weren't video games at all they were real actual battles with people dying and they were uh, trained to fight the battle misguiding them uh, as they were playing because in, in this way all the moral side uh, were exactly put aside because we are just playing a game so yes i will sacrifice three or four of my starships and all the people inside but in this way i will win the battle so let's go for it and then Real people died in that battle because of that choice, but you didn't even consider the choice because, come on, it's just a game. Mm -hmm. So this part of gamification, come on, it's just a game, uh, it's a bit problematic to me. The idea that uh, games and game mechanic can be put at work to help people be more engaged or more faithful to, to some achievement or whatever, per se, it's very interesting and very powerful. But then again, it's, it's up to us, I mean, to the people that shape the game, to, to decide which is the angle and what you want to include or not include in the game, because that makes a whole difference. Context matters. Dialogue is important. The context for this clip is a podcast episode. You can access that conversation at the link in the description. If you are interested in similar content, follow us on our platforms. If you would like to support us in creating content, you can contribute by giving us your feedback or support. You will also find links to these in the description. Thank you for stopping by.